So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. Mortal Kombat. Oh, that's that game where you mash a bunch of buttons and then somebody's spine explodes and you need a bit of therapy. That's the one, sir. So I figure since the game is still super popular, we make a movie about it. It has been a while since we tried that, so what happens in this thing? Well, we're gonna start the movie in 1617 Japan, right? And Sub-Zero's gonna show up and kill Scorpion's family. Oh, extremely rude. Very impolite. For sure. And so in Chinese, Sub-Zero's gonna be like, like, hey, I ended your bloodline, you sucker. And Scorpion's gonna be like, I'm Japanese. I have no idea what you're talking about, but let's fight. Oh boy. So then they do fight and Sub-Zero ends up stabbing Scorpion real bad and then leaving. Oh, bad guys love leaving before making sure their enemy's really dead. Yeah, and so if he had stuck around, he would have seen that Scorpion was crawling towards his hidden baby and then turns into fire and disappears. Ah, so the bloodline is still going. Exactly. And then after that really intense first scene, everything's gonna kind of go downhill from there. Sure, if we start strong, we'll have people's attention and we could kind of stop trying story-wise from there on out. So we're gonna meet this not very good MMA fighter named Cole Young, right? Oh, I don't remember him from the game. That makes sense, because I made him up. Oh, you did? Well, because this way the audience is gonna have someone to identify with, you know? Someone who's learning the rules of the world at the same time as them. I mean, there are like a hundred Mortal Kombat characters. Can't we just pretend like one of them is learning about this world for the first time? We could, but instead we're gonna spend a bunch of time developing this this guy and his family. Is that gonna take screen time away from the characters that fans came to see? Oh, most definitely a ton of it. Well, okay then. So Cole is actually a descendant of Scorpion and he has this little dragon birthmark on him and he keeps seeing flashes of Scorpion when he looks in the mirror. Okay. And because of this mark, Sub-Zero's gonna show up and try to kill him. Oh no. But then this guy Jax is gonna show up and he's gonna be like, hey, you gotta go find Sonya Blade and don't stay with your family cause dark forces will murder them. Sounds like solid advice. It it is, and so then Sub-Zero rips off Jax's arms and leaves before making sure he's dead. Oh, so that's like this guy's whole thing. It is. So then Cole goes to see Sonya Blade, and she has a whole wall of exposition to show him. I mean, she's all equipped for this exposition dump. So what does Cole learn? Well, there's this big tournament between a bunch of realms, and this bad guy Shang Tsung wants to kill all the champions before the tournament because he's a big fat cheater. So what decides who's a champion? Oh, anyone with a dragon mark is a champion, and either you're born with it, or you kill someone who has has it. So if you kill someone who has a mark, you automatically get it. Exactly. That's what happened with this criminal guy Kano that Sonya captured. So like if a 95-year-old senile grandpa accidentally runs over a champion, he will then have to fight to defend the Earth Realm? Yeah, I guess so. Well, let me ask you something. Can we make that movie instead? Well, I kind of worked hard on this one. Fair enough. So what else happens? So anyway, Kano knows where this guy Raiden has a temple, so they all head to that general area. Okay. And then this guy Liu Kang shows up and he's like, it's my job to find champions champions, and I found you guys. I mean, sounds like they're pretty much there. He didn't really do any of the work. Yeah, well, he's gonna take credit for it. Well, good for him. So then this Raiden guy is gonna be like, all right, you all have this thing called Arcana. It's like a superpower. You gotta unlock it, and that'll help you in the tournament. Okay, okay. But Sonya doesn't have a mark, but she still gets to hang out. Oh, he lets her hang out. Raiden sounds like a pretty chill guy. He's not. Oh, okay. So they start training a whole bunch, and Kano, he unlocks a laser beam eyeball. He's real happy about it. How does he manage that? By arguing about egg rolls. What? But then things aren't really working out for Cole because he's the worst. So Raiden is like, all right, you gotta get out of here, Cole. Go back to your family. And he's like, all right, I'm going home now. Bye. But there are still dark forces coming for him because of the mark, right? Yeah. So he goes back to his family. But his whole thing about going was so that they'd be safe. Yeah, he forgot about that part. So he goes back to his family. Well, okay then. But while he's back home, this big monster Goro is going to be sent to kill him. Oh, I remember Goro. He was like a big boss guy. Going to be tough to beat him. Actually, it's going to be super easy. Easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, when Cole's family's in danger, that's when he unlocks his superpower. So he defeats Goro, no problem. Oh, so he becomes Scorpion? No, he gets a cool little outfit made entirely of plot armor. Okay, kind of seemed like you were building up to him becoming Scorpion. Yeah, that may have seemed like the cooler and more logical point to build towards, but instead Cole is going to transform it to Cole with a cooler sweater. Sure, that may as well happen. Anyway, so meanwhile, Kano betrays everybody and lets the bad guys into Raiden's temple. Oh no. So they start kicking everybody's butts and that Shang Tsung guy grabs this guy Kung Lao. What's he gonna do to him? Well, this one guy's like, oh, he's about to get his soul sucked. Oh, getting your soul sucked is- Nope, don't say it.
Oh, getting your soul sucked. Please, please stop. It's just that's kind of my thing. Every meeting I say that something is tight. I know. It's just kind of my catchphrase. I'm gonna feel weird all day if I don't get it out. Yeah, no, I know. It's just sometimes it's random, but sometimes it's kind of gross. So maybe just get that out later when I'm gone. Oh, getting it out later when you're gone is tight. Okay. So then what happens? Well, then Raiden teleports all the good guys to this white void where the bad guys can't go. What, there's a white void where the bad guys can't go? Why didn't they train there? Well, because there's this whole thing where Raiden's not allowed to intervene, but he's intervening now. He is, yeah. Okay. So the group is like, listen up, guys, we need to fight these bad guys again, but this time we gotta win. How? What's changed? Well, see, the movie's almost over, so all the good guys are gonna be much better fighters now. Oh, okay, great. Also, that Jax guy had little robot chicken arms, but now he has big, big, big robot arms. How did that happen? Magic. Magic gave him robot arms? Magic gave him robot arms, that's right. So then one of the good guys is like, hey, Raiden, you can teleport anyone anywhere. Anywhere, right? He can do what? He can teleport anyone anywhere. So he's like, okay, I'm gonna teleport these bad guys to various locations and then we'll fight them. Well, why doesn't he teleport the bad guys into a volcano or to the bottom of the ocean? Okay, so see, that would be an instance where he couldn't intervene, but he can separate them with teleportation so they're defeated in battle. That's right. So does he teleport each bad guy to a different location and have all the champions gang up on that person and just kind of work his way through the line like that? No, see, that's a way he wouldn't be able to intervene. Oh, I'm very unclear on how this guy is allowed to intervene, so what does he do? Well, he sends them all to, like, 1v1 fights, because that's, like, the game, kind of. That's, like, the game, kind of. It is. So then Sonya's gonna defeat Kano and get her superpowers immediately. How come she gets her superpower at the same time as her mark? I don't know. Fair enough. And then Sub-Zero's gonna freeze Cole's family, which is maybe something that people will care about. Maybe. And then Scorpion's gonna show up from hell, and he's gonna be like, get over here. What? Did he take English lessons in hell? He took some very specific English lessons in hell. Hell, that's right. So then they're gonna have this really cool fight while Cole just assaults his frozen family in the background. What? And then they're gonna team up and manage to defeat him. Oh, wow, 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 wow. And so, yeah, that's about it. What do you think? Wait, so a bunch of the big bad guys were killed? They were, yeah. So if we want to make a sequel, we can't use any of those guys. Well, we're gonna say that death is just another portal, so. Oh, so none of this mattered. Yeah, none of this mattered, and we could just keep making more and more and more and more of these. I mean, let's not get crazy. Okay, okay. But what if we did get crazy, though? Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah, okay. Hey everybody, Ryan here, that's me, thanks for watching the video. And if you liked it, feel free to click the like button and the subscribe button and all, you know, buttons of that nature. You can also leave a comment down below letting me know what other movies you want to see pitches for. There are also like hundreds of other episodes on the channel that you can check out if you want. As always, check back soon for a new one. Bye, bye, bye.